If I use uh, Traders Pulse to manage my trades, will I lose real-time data on TradingView? I don't have a separate market data subscription with TradingView, so I get live data directly from my connected uh, broker, TradeStation. Mm, we I think you'll clarify where those trades are coming from. If you're not using live data to generate the signal, then you're going to run into a problem. Yeah, I think you would need live market data from TradingView. I don't know, like when you connect your TradeStation broker, does the chart and the strategies use your data from TradeStation or is it using TradingView's data? That's hey. what the, the ticket was saying, that they were using the TradeStation real time I don't data. think that's, I, I'd have to verify that, but I, I don't think the strategies like, that are and indicators that are running on their servers when you set up alerts. I don't think that's using your connected broker's data because the the market data from your connected broker in TradingView is like only connected to TradingView like while you're logged in on TradingView at the time. That market data like isn't persistently available. Correct me if I'm wrong on the trading view server oh, side. Right. I, I don't know. I, I think that's part of the problem. I, I don't know if uh, trading view uses a similar strategy that we do where they collect market data on your behalf for the indicators and strategies in the cloud. I don't think they, they do because like when you close trading view, like you can log out of your brokerage connection. And like the, if you close trading view, the next time you come back, you have to re log in to your brokerage account on trading view. And that session like isn't persisted or maintained on the back end of TradingView servers. I think you make a good point. I'm fairly sure, certain it is mostly client side uh, yeah. that it makes that that connection to your broker. So it likely doesn't transcend to the cloud environment. Yeah. Um, so that means that TradingView gets their market data from the subscription in your account. And so if you're not paying for market data, then you're getting 15 minute delayed data from TradingView, which is going to put your strategy out of sync with the trade activity that takes place once it gets sent to traders post. Yep. So, so if you connect your brokerage and like you're using the trading view trading panel with your brokerage account, are the charts powered by the broker's market data? It yes. is. Yeah. You well, that's kind of, that's kind of confusing, right? Cause like you could basically be manually trading with market data from your brokerage, but then your alerts are using different market data. That doesn't line up to me. That's what made me I, confused as to whether or not the data transcends over to the cloud. But I don't I think, think that it's using the brokerage's market data at all. I would bet that it's using always using your subscription market data. And the only thing that the brokerage connection is being used for is transmitting orders, canceled orders, create orders, and reading your positions to show it on the chart. I can tell you that there's a notable difference in the like the way you can tell that it's your broker data versus trading views data is the old notice a difference in the DOM. When you make the connection, the DOM will change. And uh, yeah. that's because I think trading view gets aggregated data, but the I've never run into this issue because I've always paid for market data on trading view and with the broker if necessary. Um, so th those two are usually in sync and at least with futures data, we're all getting data from pretty much the same place with equities data. It could be slightly different though. I was just Googling. Uh, I mean, it's an AI response, but, uh, so it must be true. Yeah. We'll have to verify this, but when you connect your broker to trading view, trading view uses your brokerage data through a client server architecture. Yeah. I don't know. That's a good question, though. I don't want to get clarification on that. Yeah, we can reach out to TradingView on this one. Their team should be able to answer that for us. That's a good one. 